Have you ever scrolled on TikTok, Instagram, or YouTube and seen someone sharing what they eat in a day? Huge trends in social media platforms today. So today, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be reacting to one of those videos. This one is about intermittent fasting, so make sure you keep watching. Hey guys, it's Andres here, registered dietitian and nutrition coach. A few days ago, I just ran into a video by a model and influencer on her diet that went completely viral. So I wanted to talk about it and share my thoughts on whether or not this is something that I would recommend. This video explained her pretty extreme intermittent fasting protocol, which is a huge trend and something that I get a lot of questions about. So let's take a look at what she's actually eating in a day and then we will break it down. I do intermittent fasting, so let me show you how I eat all of my food within three to four hours every day. I start eating every day around 9.30 a.m. and I always start with a coffee with a lot of heavy cream. Then I take a lot of supplements. After I did a blood test, we found out that I had a bunch of nutrient deficiencies. So basically I just take every vitamin that I'm deficient in. Okay, so a couple thoughts here. First, a three to four hour eating window every day. It's a very short time frame. For most people, this is pretty extreme and getting enough calories and nutrients in this very short window may be very difficult for most. The second thing I want to mention is all the supplements that she's taking. Now, I'm not gonna go in depth here because this influencer has a very specific health situation. She's very open on her TikTok account about her history of disordered eating. So what she says in another video is that this new diet that she's doing is something she started recently. The supplements that she's taking are to help her recover from nutrient deficiencies caused by years of under eating. So I won't comment on this except to say that for most people, you want to be aiming to get most of your micronutrients from food sources, not take 32 pills on a daily basis. Okay, now let's see what she has to eat. Then for breakfast, I make this like cheesy burger thing with kimchi. Also, just taking a moment here to appreciate how good my skin has gotten from this diet. I literally can't even believe it. Um, I always have two cups of coffee, by the way. A lot of heavy cream goes into that. I top the burger with a fried egg, and this is my breakfast that I eat around 10.30 a.m. The burger is freaking delicious. I just made a whole YouTube video on the recipe. I take 32 pills in the morning, so I just try to swallow as many as I possibly can at once. After I'm done eating in the morning. Okay, so I'm noticing that she's following a very low carb diet with moderate protein and lots of fat. So it looks like she's doing some version of keto paired with intermittent fasting, which is a very common mix. Let's see how this ends. Around 11.30, I make a yogurt bowl with some kefir for some extra probiotics. Also, it's important to say that I'm doing this under supervision of numerous professionals, so don't take this as medical advice. Please always work with a professional because everyone's needs are so unique and different. Don't wash me. Um, anyways, Dang. at 12.30, I usually make a cup of broth, add a ton of beef fat into it. This is what heals my gut. It's a little bit hard to get down, I'm not gonna lie, but it's worth it. After that, I have my absolute favorite snack in the world, which is berries and Amish cheddar cheese. Oh, that's everything I ate today. Okay, now we have an idea what her day of eating looks like, and this video shows that she has her last meal at 1 p.m. So let's chat about what I see here and what you can take away also from this. The first thing I'll say is that I do like the disclaimer that she gives that she's doing this under the supervision of professionals and that other people watching this shouldn't really take this as medical advice. That is really important to include in a video like this, so I'll give her that. So you might be thinking, why am I reacting to what this woman is eating? Because people are totally free to make their own choices. I 100% agree with you and it's completely true. But my main issue with this video is that she's promoting a very unbalanced diet that is not suitable for most people. And she has an audience of over 1 million followers. And even though she's not telling people to follow this specific diet, just by going on her public platform and talking about all the benefits that she's seen, she's going to influence people and their choices. They're going to start asking questions about that. This can potentially be harmful, especially when it's a very restrictive diet like this one. So it's important for me as a dietitian to help clear up misinformation and share knowledge that it's based on solid scientific evidence. Something else to note is that she also does not specify what kind of professionals they are giving her this plan. And I definitely have some concerns about what they just given her. Just because someone is a quote unquote professional does not mean that they have the credentials or the expertise to give dietary advice to someone. And if they do, you need to be careful on what they share. In fact, I have plenty of great accounts 
accounts that I follow that they have debunked plenty of doctors, dietitians, and health gurus and other so-called professionals sharing misleading information. The last issue here is it seems to me that this day of eating is simply not enough calories and she's significantly under eating. I would estimate that this is maybe about 1,000 to 1,300 calories. Now, granted, she seems to be a petite individual, so maybe her calorie needs are not as high. Now, in the video, there were no quantities given for the foods in this video, which makes it a little bit hard for me to estimate. Now, she did actually make up a follow-up video where she says she puts about 11 ounces of heavy cream in her coffee, which would bring her calorie count significantly. But again, we can't say for sure whether she's meeting her calorie needs or not. Also, I'm not really sure what her conditions are, but I saw zero vegetables included in this video. I think I only saw some raspberries. Maybe she does eat them in other videos she posts. Now, remember, those add a lot of micronutrients, vitamins and minerals that we need for optimal health. So it makes me wonder, well, maybe 32 pills were not as needed if she consume a few extra veggies. Again, I'm not sure what her conditions are. Now, there's honestly a lot more I could go into around the foods that she's choosing and specifically the keto diet, but today I'm just going to take the opportunity to discuss intermittent fasting and whether it's something you should consider for fat loss. To give you a quick definition of intermittent fasting, it's basically when you don't eat for specific periods of time. The type of fasting you see in the video I show you is known as time-restrictive eating, where you only eat within a specific window of time during the day. Now, this influencer only eats for three to four hours, which is very restrictive and not something that may be sustainable for many people watching. A more common approach that maybe you've heard about is the 16-8 schedule, where you fast for 16 hours and then you have eight hours of eating. Imagine you go to bed at 9 p.m. and you wake up and you don't eat anything until one o'clock in the afternoon. That's an example of a 16-8 approach. There are various schedules that someone might follow, but I'm not going to get into those or honestly the specifics of how to practice intermittent fasting in this video. If you do want me to create a part two of this and create a separate video on all of this, drop a comment and let me know. Total side note, I practiced intermittent fasting for an entire year while completing my master's thesis on this very same topic that I'm talking about. So I know a thing or two about it. Not only that, but inside of our programs, we teach our clients how to incorporate it into their lifestyles when it makes sense with their goals and their needs. Now, what I wanna do today is address one of the most common questions I get about intermittent fasting, which is, is it more effective for weight loss than any other diet. When we look at the data, in a recent research review by a prominent fasting researcher, it was concluded that incorporating a form of intermittent fasting, regardless of the type, can help people achieve 3 to 8% weight loss over 8 to 12 weeks or so. Now, for context, if you weigh, for example, 200 pounds, that's going to be about 6 to 16 pounds of weight loss. Now, before you get all too excited, they also noted that the degree of weight loss and intermittent fasting is similar to that achieved with traditional calorie restriction strategies, aka just eating less calories without timing windows. Basically, for you, this means two things. One, you can lose weight on intermittent fasting because you consume less calories due to less time to eat food during the day. And two, that weight loss that can happen is no different if you were just restricting your calories without any type of restrictions or fasting. So why do people rave about intermittent fasting and how it's help them lose a gazillion pounds. Simple. Intermittent fasting is a calorie management strategy. By restricting eating to a certain window of time, it can make it easier for some people to stay in a calorie deficit and avoid overeating. Imagine the person that told you she's lost 50 pounds of intermittent fasting. Maybe she was stopping at Starbucks every morning before that to get a pumpkin spice latte. We're in the season. That's 390 calories. And she paired that up with a sausage, egg, and cheese wrap, and it's 640 calories. And when she started fasting by skipping that same breakfast, she started losing all the weight. Duh, she's cutting out over a thousand calories from her usual intake. By essentially skipping a meal, people reduce their overall calories while feeling more full and satisfied during their eating window than they would if their meals were more spread out. So it may be a helpful strategy for some people, but not everyone. So if you're watching this video and you're wondering whether this is the right strategy for you, here's who intermittent fasting is for and who is not for, in my opinion. First, I would not recommend fasting if you find you are extremely hungry, irritable, or have low energy when you don't eat for a long period of time. Why be miserable? Second, I would not recommend this for anyone who tries it and finds themselves significantly overeating. If you restrict your calories only to overdo it when you're quote unquote allowed to eat, it kind of defeats the purpose of doing it. This actually happened to me. For those that say that intermittent fasting did not help them lose weight, 
This tends to be the reason. Very, very important. I would not recommend this for anyone who has a history of eating disorders or disordered eating. Any nutrition approach that encourages restriction can trigger a disorder pattern in people with this history. So if fasting becomes distressing or obsessive, it's probably not for you. This is actually why I have some serious concerns about the professionals that the influencer in the video is working with because they have given her a very restrictive diet or schedule to someone with a disorder eating background. Lastly, pregnant or lactating women should refrain from doing any type of fasting. Now, if you don't fall into any of the previous categories, intermittent fasting might be something that you can consider trying maybe as an experiment like I did it. The people who find it effective are those who find it fits easily into their lifestyle rather than it being something that they're forcing themselves to do using extreme willpower for a specific outcome. In our coaching programs, we call this an advanced strategy for calorie management and can be implemented safely when it's done properly. Now to close out the video for today, I want to share a couple of takeaways. The biggest one is simply to be wary of any day of eating type of videos that somebody shares on social media. Just because someone's body looks a certain way doesn't mean that the way that they're eating is healthy or that you'll see similar results if you follow exactly what they're doing. The other important point that I want to make here is that intermittent fasting is a tool. It's not a magical solution. Some people do find it beneficial and there are actually a lot of other research benefits beyond just weight loss. So again, if you're interested in learning more, leave a comment below and I'd love to make another video on how to actually practice intermittent fasting. But if being restrictive with when you eat your meals isn't something you enjoy and doesn't really come easily, it is absolutely not necessary to reach your weight loss goals. Now, one last note. Again, I mentioned something about other research benefits. Many people have asked me about intermittent fasting for those health benefits. Since this video is strictly for weight loss, I'm choosing to leave those parts out for that potential part two of this video. And I can go into details on the benefits on blood sugar management, blood lipids, longevity and all of what the research says but that's everything i have for you today thank you so much for tuning in and i hope that you enjoyed this reaction style video it's a new one it's something i've never done but if you come across any other videos that you like me to watch and react to feel free to leave a comment or send me a message on instagram at andres ayesta and let me know bye for now and see you guys on the next one